This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung NP300 V5A laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung NP300 V5A laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power, and that includes the battery on the bottom side. To remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, and there's two levers right above the battery. We slide those outwards, and we slide the battery out like that. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you where to find the model number for this laptop computer. So, it's on the bottom label, right below the Windows label. And it'll say, Model NP300 V5A. Okay, so we keep moving. And we flip the laptop back over and take a look at the screen assembly. Uh, like with just about all other laptop computers, in order to get to the screen, you have to remove the plastic frame, the plastic bezel around the screen, and you snap that off. Now, normally it is held in by some screws hiding behind the screw covers. For this particular laptop, there's the screw covers on top and bottom, but there's no screws behind the screw covers. So for your laptop, there may be some screws behind the screw covers, so you may have to remove the screws. So um, before we go any further, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use for this laptop. Uh, first, we're going to have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws, a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry things open if we need it, a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck, and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove the plastic screw covers. Before we go on, I'm going to remove one of these plastic screw covers with a hobby knife, and I like to put it beside the opening and typically you would see a screw in here and you would use the PH1 screwdriver to remove the screw but we don't have it but I just wanted to show you where it would be and there's four screw covers on here two on top and two on bottom so before, so we can go on and snap the screen bezel off now because it's only held on by the by the plastic and what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and outward and listen for snapping sounds like so and we work our way around the whole screen like so and the corners might be a little bit more difficult so you can come back to the corners after you snap off the other parts Keep working around. Same on the bottom. Just put your fingertips on the screen side. Keep going around. Like so. And the, that corner came off. And then we take a look on the bottom. And we want to snap off the screen on the bottom to the, I mean, the bezel on the bottom. I see that there's a little bit of an opening here, and I use my 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to reach into the opening and kind of pry the bottom open, like so. Take your time on this. Don't hurry this so you don't damage anything. We flip the laptop back over, and we lift the screen bezel out, like so. Okay, now we see the screen assembly. 
Uh, for this Samsung laptop model and for several other Samsung laptop models, they use a unique screen that is not used in other laptop models. So there's a specific way how you get that out. So I'll show it to you. This screen is mounted by some metal tabs with screws on top and bottom. So there's four screws that this screen is mounted with. Two up here and two down here. So with the screen tilted back, remove the four screws one and two and three and four uh, be careful not to confuse the screws that the screen is mounting with with the uh, hinge screws that are mounting with. So you see three screws on the bottom. So the two leftmost screws are for the hinge. So don't touch those and just remove the third screw from the left. And likewise, remove the third screw from the right. Okay, the next trip, trick is that this thing has some mounting tabs on the side. So the screen is just not going to come out just easily like that. So you have to kind of work the screen out and actually it is going to come out easily like that. So you kind of work the screen out and gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure nothing is tight and nothing's getting caught. And now we see the screen on the bottom. Okay, so like I said, this is a unique screen and the connector is a unique place. So we remove the connector, and the way we do that is there's some adhesive tape. We lift up the adhesive tape, like so. And then we just pull the connector back, like so, and it's removed. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in. When you slide the connector back in, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up look at the connection because people have trouble with that. Okay, pause the video right there. And there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a properly connected connector. All right, so we keep moving. Slide the connector out and take a look at the screen. Now, even though the description for this laptop model says 15.6 inch LED screen, the standard 15.6 inch LED screen will not fit for this laptop. You need a special screen specifically for this laptop and it works for some other Samsung laptops. So let's take a look at the part number that you need. The part number that you're looking for is LTN156AT19. And make sure when the picture of the screen looks like this, there's metal mounting tabs on top and bottom, and the connector is way at the bottom and the left hand side when looking from the back. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available and we guarantee compatibility for this laptop model. So if you order from us, we do have this screen available and we guarantee compatibility. And also what you get with us is free email technical support when you install the screen and a two year warranty on the screen. And uh, we ship from Tucson, Arizona and we can ship to most countries around the world. So to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, just your email address and the laptop model number, and we email back a link to buy the right screen online. Or if you prefer, you can search for your screen. On the bottom, there's a link that says search for your screen. When you get there, there will be a search box, and just type in the laptop model NP300V5A, or type in the screen part number and both results will come up and you can order the screen online. Okay, once you do receive your screen, connected as I showed you down here, 
Put the screen back in, mount it with two screws on top and two screws on bottom. Snap the plastic bezel back on, and if you have screws on the bezel, put those in, and you're done. And that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.